three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello everybody new to the channel. My name is Armando. I do action figure reviews. Usually modern stuff, sometimes classic stuff, sometimes vintage. I've got a lot of vintage stuff, which I should do maybe like on a separate channel, which I haven't done yet. Um, on my last video, I don't know if you've seen it, I went to Dollar Tree and I found these uh, cool steel figures. You can see right there. Well, probably can't. Hold on. Maybe with the camera closer. Extreme close up. Whoa, dude. Okay. Let's see if it'll zoom in. I'll put my hand in the back there. Focus. Focus. There, you see it says steel. Steel. Yeah, these guys are cool. Uh, I bought three of them because that's all they had on the hooks. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, and I, I showed you how to shave the backpack. Well, what you needed to do for it to fit. Just use an X-Acto knife, trim it because they're too long, and then shave the, the width of it. So I did all three of them. I have a little squad there. Now, I also shaved the the guns see so he could hold it better oh no got dirt on my hands all right that better you can't see oh right. well let me see put this one back over here oh right yeah you see how i shaved the gun look at my exact one shaved off the trigger Gonna cut the piece right here in front. Left that little piece hanging out, and I shaved a little bit behind the handle, just so you could hold it more comfortably. And yes, on the left hand, it fits a lot better, like that. So there you have steel. Now. I don't know if Chat Mai made these guys, but these are from Greenbrier International, which is Dollar Tree here in the U.S. Could be Poundland in the U.K. or one of the pound shops. But I went to another Dollar Tree. They didn't have any. Then I went to a third location, which had just opened up maybe like a month ago. And they had the rest of the crew, which I think is the rest of the crew. Look, they have this guy. I don't think he's got any uh, name tag on there. He's got like a, a, a grenade launcher. Different backpack. These are all a dollar, folks. Then they had this guy. Which is very similar to the head that they have on the, the Kid Connection tank. You get this guy and then you get this guy. I actually found a tank at Walmart for $11.23. Somebody returned it because uh, they stole one of the figures or maybe they stole... Yeah, the other figure that had this head. Different body, though. And uh, they marked it down. So for 11 bucks, you get a tank. And you get this guy, which is the better-looking dude. But look, it's not painted in. But if you get... One of these. An ultra fine point Sharpie. You can use it to paint in the details. Because the, the needle is so small. And they didn't paint anything in there. So you, I would fill in the goggles. Uh, the strap on the side there. They didn't finish doing that. Maybe with a red one. Do it here. Fill that in. Oh, sorry about that. Had a battle damage there. I had a hangnail and then I trimmed it. And it started to bleed everywhere. So, so I put iodine on there. Real iodine. De La Cruz iodine from Mexico. They still make the original iodine with the color. I found some decolorized iodine, which is weird. Why do you want to decolorize it? I want to see where the wound is. Uh, you know, you want to cover it. You want it. You want to be able to see it. I don't want to use betadine either. So, yeah, I went to my local, which is 30 miles away, Mexican grocery store. And they had De La Cruz Iodine. I actually bought three bottles of the stuff. Eh, look. 
See that? There you go. De La Cruz. Tintura de Yodo. First aid antiseptic. Yeah, I'm surprised even my local HEB doesn't have regular iodine like this. See the skull and crossbones right there? It says that it's deadly poison. Yeah, anyway, that's what I put on my finger. It's what you need for wounds. And it stings. It's like fire, putting fire in there. But you need it to, uh, you know, disinfect it. Anyway, uh, I guess you could paint the boots black or tan to make them look cooler. Because they have a lot of detail, these figures. There's two screws in the back. I did see, uh, I went to Walmart. They had the new uh, Aliens versus the Colonial Marines based on the Aliens films. But the figures, uh, they're not very proportioned. They look out of proportion. They're horrible sculpts. The, the vehicles are cool. The aliens are in totally different colors. Uh, I might just not get them. Unless they're on clearance or something. But I don't like the way they came out. They had this guy. I guess he's the, the Asian guy on the team. Got grenades on there. It's quite a few of these. Quite a few of these. It was only one of these guys. And they had this guy. Those two of these guys. See the, the helmet. Who could put them in a, to ride the helicopter? Yeah, when you buy that Kid Connection tank, there's a little mini helicopter. I'll show that in another video. I did get two tanks, by the way. Look, because you know you can't beat them on clearance. <laughs> That's the tank commander. We'll we'll do a video on the tanks next. And then they had this guy, with the arms kind of sticking out. Versus uh, Steel. Talked about it on the other video. See how Steel has him a little bit closer to his body? I mean, I could heat him up with a lighter. and It would be better with a, a hot air gun. Soften the plastic and then reshape the arms. But uh, I haven't done that yet. Maybe we'll do that later. Now, I've been looking for, for jacks. Remember back in the 70s, they used to sell these little metal jacks with a rubber ball? Now, the jacks would be perfect if I cut them. I could stick them in the wrist here. Like, slice the wrist off with my Dremel. Drill a hole and stick the jack in there and have a ball. And then hollow out the hand. Stick it on there and then you'll have a joint. Just super glue in the, the jack in there. So, it would have like a ball joint. You could pop the hand on there and, and you'll have wrist, hand, you know, swivel hands. But I haven't found any jacks. Little idea out there for you guys that want to mod your figures. So who do we open first? Uh, well, let's go with this guy. Uh, this is a uh, military brand figure. It doesn't say Imperial Toys, but it has this information here. Look, made in China, Fabrique in China. Yes, the center, the epicenter of the coronavirus, currently killing the people of the world. Now, hopefully, they'll find a cure for it, and uh, we'll have an immunization for it maybe by the end of the year, which is highly unlikely. But hopefully, they will, and everything will get back to normal. Now, go to Huff Paranormal to his channel, to Steve Huff, and he's got a video up right now about the, asking the spirits about the coronavirus. And he says, should we be worried? And they say, yes. So, yeah. Uh, wash your hands. Cover your sneezes. Just be safe, folks. Practice good hygiene. And everybody should be okay. There was this guy on a, on a YouTube video that I commented on. He's in China. I think he's in, a, I don't know, one of the other cities. He's not in the Hubei or Wuhan area. And he, he, he filmed a video in a shopping mall. like, And he was making it seem like everything's hunky-dory. Like... Oh, there's nothing wrong. And he was, you know, saying, oh, how great the, the Chinese government is and the, the swift response and that they had and how, like, it's like, oh, it's like everything's just peachy. So I told him, hey, you know, what do you think of, like, you know, Dr. Lee, who in December was warning everybody about this virus. And then they, uh, you know, they basically told him not to talk about it. The local PD pulled them in. 
So he's over there filming in the mall how oh everything's wonderful. And then I said, well, you know, <laughs> even the like the local uh, they had the local news anchors sing a song, like something out of like a Barney video. How everything's gonna be fine, everybody keep your spirits up and well that's a fine and dandy, yeah, but it just seems kinda like something you know, something out of the North Korean playbook. Strange. Can this fit in there? Nope. Once again, a backpack that does not fit. We'll have to trim it, shave it, and then it'll fit. Will it fit on the bottom one? Nope. Just the end there. See? We're going to have to shave it down. The head turns a little bit. Yeah, he said I couldn't think and that I'm like, uh, I don't know. There's something wrong with me. I don't know. I remember what he told me. And then they were like trying to meet, get me to like subscribe to his channel and recommendation. They wanted to know why they want to see it. I was like, nah, this dude. He he just did a video about something called what aboutism. What aboutism. So you know he, he's just full of himself. Huge ego. As a lot of YouTubers have a huge ego, but uh, he wants to be on the camera all the time. You know what I mean? Showing his face and everything. Not about that. It's not about me. It's about the figures on this channel. What you see is what you get. Warts and all. All right. We'll, we'll just put this guy aside. At least they painted his boots. Look at that. They're nice, like a nice tan color. Maybe I'll do the laces black. All right. Let's open another guy. Yeah, I forgot his name. It wasn't Chinese, but he's not a Chinese guy. He's just a guy living there, acting Chinese. I'm Chinese, so I can say whatever the hell I want. Well, half Chinese. I'm half Filipino. But hey, the island's right across from each other, so what do you expect, right? Anyway. Cool gun on this guy. Hard weapons. Look, it doesn't have none of that rubber crap in there. So that's good. You want hard weapons. Reminds me of G.I. Joe in the 80s. Harpoon gun that's molded into the backpack. Um, let's see the diameter on that. Yeah, this one's been shaved down and melted. Might fit. Here's the dude with the hat. He's got an earpiece. The one that came with the Kid Connection tank did not have an earpiece. So these might be Chap Me or Chap Me or M E I knockoffs. Cool boots. Uh, nothing on the bottom there. A little bit of a... Need to be trimmed a little bit better. Yep. Took care of that. Let's see. Can he hold the gun? Some of these are not even the scale. <laughs> yeah, you know, I will give it to the... The government in China, they, they built those hospitals pretty quick, but <laughs> it's cause in origin, they were putting the patients in this abandoned building and leaving them there to die. So, you know, that's going to look pretty bad on the world media. So like, hey, we better make some hospitals and look like we're taking care of everybody, which they are. But um, yeah, the original plan was kind of bad. Stick them in an abandoned building, let them die. Horrible. Yeah, well, that's not gonna fit. It's okay. I didn't expect it to. This hand's way open. Look, look how open the hand is there. We can heat it up, open it more. But... We'll see. Let's see if the backpack fits. Of course, the back fat, the backpack fits perfectly. So we can copy that model. It could be like a ranger, maybe out in the mountains. Still a cool figure. Uh, in the eighties, it was a. Uh, well, there's a comic book called Sergeant Rock. And um, they made a toy line on Sergeant Rock. And the figures were basically like this. Five points of articulation. No elbow, no swivels. Just five points like a Star Wars figure. Three and three quarter inches. And, and it's some pretty cool sculpting. I have Sergeant Rock himself uh, somewhere in the G.I. Joe room. Anyway, I'm a big fan. These are great. I like it. I like the price. They're a dollar. Right, let me put them right there. All right, let's open this guy. 
the Asian dude. Alright, let me see. You know, I could have stretched this out and make a video of each one individually, but nah, let's do it all together. Alright, he's out. I'll just throw these on the ground here. Uh, let me see. Um, move forward. It's got double screws. Probably needs to be trimmed better. Head turns pretty good. Yeah, he's Asian. Asian Special Forces. Well, he can sit down pretty good. Ve vehicle driver. Nothing on the feet. Doesn't say chat nine. Uh, here's the backpack. Maybe there's writing in there. Uh, can't see it. I should get a flashlight and look in there. Um, uh, he's got a he's like a radio communicator guy. He's got the radio in there. He could paint it black. Now this one looks like it might not fit in there. No, it does look. All right, that one was fixed. Pretty good. Okay. He's got a shotgun. Looks huge, long shotgun. It's not even a scale. Look at the size of the shotgun. Compared to him. Oh, let's see. Okay, there. Can you see him? Yeah. Look at look at the size of that gun. Look at that. See, too big. It's more for like a Laura Croft figure. And it's in the open position. It looks not even close. It's supposed to be when he's pumping it. It's got a flashlight on there. Let's see. Let's see if he can hold it. Mm. Nah, you have to trim this one. We'll give him a different gun later. All right. Didn't care about that. At least the backpack fits. All right. Well, we got this guy. Let's put him over here. And let's open this dude. Okay. You've seen them before. It, they, they did copy the Chat My U.S. Army figures. But these are a dollar, so it doesn't say Chat My. I know I recognize this guy because I have them from those uh, Christmas sets they put out a while back. Look, another uh, Ranger type backpack. Just a figure here. They got it. Pretty good. Uh, they didn't finish. They, they couldn't paint the strap there all the way. I don't see if you can see the detail. Well, I can fill that in with the marker. Got a radio here on his leg. Uh, double screws, of course. No swivel at the waist. You can sit pretty good. At Dollar General, you can get this guy like with a. I think he came with a motorcycle. It's under U.S. Army license. Uh. Well, you think it'd fit in there? Let's see, let's try it again. Nope, don't want to go in there. I'll have to trim the back a little bit. Maybe it'll fit this guy. Let's see. Nah, it's the backpack. Needs trimming. Oh well. All right, here's a huge gun. Here, look. Totally not to scale. It's too big. We can fix that. Uh, years ago, uh, Lennard, when they were making the core in single packs, they used to sell them with like, like I think like six to eight guns a piece, like a lot of weapons. And I remember Walmart had them down for like, a, I think like 88 cents, if I remember. Anyway, I wiped them out. I bought all of them. Like, I don't know, $40 worth? <laughs> so I took all the weapons on and I had like Ziploc bags full of weapons and, and they were to scale. Like this one's to scale. And it was like, I have a ton of these weapons somewhere in the, where I keep my O-rings and T-hooks and stuff. So we can swap out their guns. Thanks to Lennard. Well, his backpack don't work. All right, well, we'll put him here. He's a cool figure anyway. 
Maybe we'll put him as the helicopter pilot or something. And then there's this guy. Let's open him up. Same information. No sad onions. Why, why onions are you sad? A shout out to Stuart Ashens across the pond. Yes, Stuart Ashens discovered the sad onion phenomenon affecting toys of the world. But right now, I don't think China's importing anything into the U.S. Because every time I go to the Dollar Tree, they have less and less merchandise. I mean, they have local stuff that you can get in the U.S. But a lot of the Chinese-made stuff is missing in action. All that will rev up soon. So if you see these at your local Dollar Tree, pick them up.